Hi guys, bargain store project time. Uh, this is an extra voiceover I'm going to add to the beginning of the video. Uh, basically because what I start doing in this project is not what I end doing. I start off with a polystyrene donut ring that I was going to make an electromagnet with. Uh, but in the end I use a plastic uh, tube that some Christmas decorations came on. You will see. I will cut out most of the beginning of the video because most of that is now redundant. Hi guys. Spotted another bargain store project opportunity. This is two polystyrene wreaths. Uh, these are for making your own Christmas decorations. That was two for a pound. Look like quite nice, fairly solid polystyrene rings. So, the other day, I spotted this dumped on some wasteland. It's the um, back end of an old television tube. It's in a bit of a sorry state. It's obviously been smashed by somebody. But so I was looking at it and I thought, well, I might be able to recover some of the copper wire off that. And wrap it round at least one of these and see if I can do some sort of electrical experiment. So that's the plan. Right, time to change direction. I've spent about two days now, or two evenings, wrapping copper wire around this polystyrene ring and it's not doing what I want it to do. I've tried it several times. All I'm trying to do is light some LEDs by flashing a magnet through the middle and it's just not doing it. So, time for a change of direction. I'm going to have to unwrap all this wire. Um, what I've actually done today, Christmas is coming, this is tape, tape for wrapping up your Christmas presents. It just happens to be on a nice plastic former. So what I'm going to do is take the wrapping tape off and unwrap the wire from there onto here. I've got to do it anyway, to, I've got to wrap it onto something, so I'm going to unwrap it onto here. This was actually £1.50, which on the face of it doesn't meet my bargain store project criteria of trying to buy something for a pound or less, but it was three for the price of two, so that was three for three pounds. So it just fits in. So I'm going to unwrap this wrapping tape. Uh, store that somewhere for Christmas and use the empty spool to unwrap the copper wire from there. Right, just run my knife around the inside and that's so I can get the this side out. I've drilled a small hole through all the way through there so that I can actually feed the wire through there to start the coil. Right, that's the first layer removed. Right, that's the second length unwound. That took about an hour and a half that time, because it's much thinner wire. Right, that's the third length removed. So we're back to the bare core there. I'm just thinking I might actually finish off taking this bit of the old television apart and wrap that on there as well. Right, that's the final bit of copper wire off the old television uh, whatever it was called, the bit off the back of the tube. So, now we can see what we can do with this. feels quite heavy actually. A lot of copper there. Right, we might be able to have some fun with this, finally. Got a few neodymium magnets in there. 
one and a half volts and I'm just using the very end coil at the moment. <laughs> so we might have some fun. Right then. <laughs> uh, finished. Nothing like what I originally envisaged when I started the project. I've had to change direction quite substantially on the way through. Uh, what we've now got, that is my coil of wire, um, which originally I was putting onto a donut shape. Uh, couldn't get any effect out of it that I wanted, so I've completely unwound the donut and wound up all the wire onto this former, uh, which came with some Christmas decoration on. So that is now my pound item, the former that's under there. And what I've done, uh, rather than just having one of those magnets that you shake up and down inside a tube, I've now made it into a sort of a push rod assembly. So you can either turn the handle here, or just spin it. In fact, I've even used a pulley here. I was thinking of actually mounting an little electric motor down here to spin it. But then I thought, no, we'll, we'll stick to mechanical energy. So we've got a pulley effect, uh, not pulley effect, we've got a push rod effect here that pushes my neodymium magnets backwards and forwards through the electromagnet or the coil. I'll put the camera down and see if we can actually see the LEDs flashing. What I've actually done is I've mounted a red LED and a green LED in opposite directions so that you get a light, a red light when the magnet goes one way and a green light when the magnet goes the other way. Uh, let's turn one of the lights off, see if we get enough to see it going. Yeah, might have to turn both lights off. That's better. So hopefully you can see we've got a red flash and a green flash. The red flash is easier than the green. So if I turn it by hand, I can get the red to flash quite easily. But it's easier if I just spin it to get them both flashing. But that should be something my grandchildren can play with. That was a long way to go to get to that. I think I've spent about three days. Oop, a bit bright. Come on camera, catch up. I think I've spent about three days on this project instead of my normal three hours. But that's because I had to change direction halfway through. Those uh, polystyrene donuts that I've got, I shall use them in a, another project. I've got an idea already what I might do with them. But today's, or well, the last three days, today's um, bargain store project is now a push rod operated flashing LED. And I'm quite pleased with that. I'll just turn this round. So you can see the push rod. If you followed all of my bargain store projects, you might recognise that's actually come out of one of my crawler bots. Uh, that was 
to one of the legs on a crawler bot. So I've recycled uh, quite a lot there. So, no idea which number this project is, but I'll put a number on the end of the uh, video. might be tempting to put a little electric motor on there to drive it just to demonstrate it but I shan't do that in this in this project <laughs> 